Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo night prestige nightfall on the inverted spire this week. I'm doing it on the warlock, uh, running an arc subclass. It's probably a little bit more difficult for the boss side of things to run an arc subclass, but not really, not 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 too much. But more so because I wanted to use the Darcy to see if the Darcy, you know, I'd done it with the hunter and it's, it, it was superb. I was kind of wondering if, if it was just that run I'd done or, you know, would it be consistently good in the nightfall? And it's consistently good in the nightfall. Uh, it really made the Warlock run. It was a little bit slower than the Hunter run because there were ads at the start. So, you know, that's, not, that's no big deal, but it's just why it was a little bit slower. I want to take the time though before we get into the actual video just to say that my hunter run that I put up the other day has been quite well received. Uh, I've had a lot of comments, a lot of support through it and it's also been approved for movie of the week. So if you guys think it's deserving and if you're so inclined to do so, a vote would be appreciated, highly appreciated. If you think it, it, it deserves some recognition, go onto the Bungie website. I've, I'm actually going to put a link in the description. So you can just click on the link, go and vote for the video. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much, guys. So, this week's prestige is probably the easiest prestige I've ever done. It's such a simple... Because, because you basically have three three real encounters. You have the first the cave encounter with the two hydras. You have the cabal encounter and then the boss. All the rest is kind of... You're filling in. I don't... I don't expect other nightfalls to be quite as good or quite as easy. I, I'm thinking about what the Darcy could be good with. Uh, arms dealer, maybe not because of the tank. Paramedium, yeah, be good in the Paramedium. Sabbath and Song, be very good there, I think. So, I think this is probably the easiest prestige. You also have to take into consideration the, the, the elemental damage that the ads are doing. How, uh, any kind of high thing, you're going to you're gonna have a lot of arc. So, I'm just doing the Darcy with this week because it seemed like a great week to do it. I'm going to try and find, as I say with all the exotic weapon changes, I'm going to try and find the best weapons now for these things. So, as you can see, I, I get a lot... Uh, in the video... I get, you can see I've just went across that teleport, and I get a lot of questions going, I find that quite funny, not sure how you do it. This is how you, you do it, when you jump in the teleport, you've got between, when you start going across, until about a third of the way, just pull up your menu and call your sparrow midair. Just make sure you do it all pretty smoothly. Into the teleporter, as soon as you teleport away, make sure you, it's easier to have a fast summoning, summoning, spiral and just call it and you can ride it across it's not it's not some real technical trick so what i do here with the hydras i kind of clear out clear out the ads on the first platform and then i try and clear some of them out on the ground platform then i jump down take the rest i take the first hydra that stays over at the other side and then i leave the second hydra this is kind of a new strategy i, I actually called it by mis by accident if you take that Hydra out, just wait for the second wave of ads to appear and then give it like a, a split second, then take it out, the explosion from the Hydra should kill quite a lot of the ads. It's, it's nothing special, but... And also, at the when you get to the Cabal, the two Cabal bosses, you can take them out, both of them, with the Darcy, pretty simply. Just make sure you take out the Sniper up on top of the, the right-hand side Cabal's roof. You don't have to take the one over on the left, just the one at the right. Take him out, and then take the other, the, the other orange bar shielded cabal centurion. Make sure you take him out. Is it? I think it's centurion. And then if you duck down, you'll see where I go in the video. There's an actual place I go. You can go down to the right, and you've got a bit of cover from the the vex, and you can snipe the the second cabal boss down at the track the teleporter. Other than that, there's not really much to say about this strategy. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Try and make sure that your your uh, recovery is decent, but so is your resilience. 
I kind of set my character up. I all my characters are the same. I like to have a fair bit of resilience. Mobility is not a problem for me because normally I use energy scout rifles. I'm not using the Manan, and it's the Vakuna. So it's, it's a war main scout rifle. It does firefly, elemental firefly, perfect. And with them, with them nerfing explosive payload. The only reason that the Better Devils have stayed relevant is because they buffed hand cannons. So it kind of made up for the damage that was lost. The Mananan, the Nameless, they just don't do the same damage they used to do. So it's a shame, but to be fair, if everybody's using these things, they're bound to get nerfed. So just a little tip, check out the Vakuna. So as you can see, the Darcy, to, to get the, the personal assistant to proc, you need to wait for this when you when you aim down sights, the screen will the the sight will go the the reticle will go from green to red. That means it's propped. It will do now. It's like double damage or something. And make sure you're critting. As you can see, I miss a couple of crits on that the cabal boss. It's what happens when you're getting shot back at. <laughs> but if all you've got to do is just kind of make sure you you hit that crit. The other thing about the 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 Darcy that I really love is its rate of fire. It's got such a rapid rate of fire. Very good. I'll be, I'm going to try more activities just to just to find out how good it is across the board. But uh, ever since War Mines come out, I think I've probably put more time into Destiny Destiny Two than I have any, since any time since launch. I think this is more like what we should have had or would have been nice that we have had these sorts of challenges, these sorts of things in Destiny from D2 launching. Nothing we can do about it now. Destiny 2 launched last year. Moving forward, I think this is this is exactly what we want to see. The nodes, the, the 40 nodes, the, the 45 uh, memory fragments, you know, as, as the black spindle in the game, isn't it in the game? Time gated quest, the nascent dawn quest, all this type of stuff, uh, uh, escalation protocol. Although I do think, see, I'm, I'm kind of divided on that. I'm kind of divided. I, I, I can't really make my mind up. Is it too difficult or isn't it? Getting teams, I mean, getting teams that can go in and coordinate is quite difficult. Getting teams until until you're a higher light level. Is is has it been scaled too high? Maybe not actually, because. It's always something to do once you start to hit that level bracket. So anyway, back to the nightfall. Uh, you just run around here. You just activate the, the, the you activate the switch just below where you drop, and I just run around. The only reason I'm shooting ads is because I get bored of just running around. <laughs> it's that simple. What another kind of thing you want to make sure that you've got the Darcy holds about twenty three rounds. You want to make sure you've got your twenty three rounds at this point. So, and in my first video, in my Titan video, I shot some of the, the Vex uh, at the drills. And I got a comment from someone on Reddit, and they were like, really good run. But did you know you didn't have to shoot those? Well, the reason I shot them was because I was getting one shot by the snipers. I've since figured out why I was getting one shot. Because I hadn't been making videos or even playing Destiny 2 for a couple of weeks. It's amazing how much I forgot. I forgot the, the, the mechanics of the strike. If you drive your spiral from the minute you come across, you land, you get on your spiral, right off, then right towards the, right, right off the edge, and then right down towards the drills, the snipers aren't in position yet. So that's how to not take any sniper damage. Now that we're at the boss, I'll explain my way of thinking. You can't, it's not advisable to take him under his first health bar on the first platform. Because if you do, he will be immune for the whole of the second platform. So, put five, f four, five, six shots. Just try and monitor his, his, his health and put that on him. And that, that when, you go to the, when you go to the next one, you can basically just hit him until he goes immune. He will go immune. So, uh... Do that, and once you get to the bottom, it's the exact same strategy. You put a couple of shots on his head, he'll go headless. Now it's his stomach that's the crit point. Hit him with some crits to the stomach, and then pop your super. When the ads start to encroach, when they start to get close, pop your super, 
take out some ads. He will then come onto the, the, the ground floor from outside the the Vex Milk Lake. He'll come up and you just take him out with your super. Very simple strategy. I'm glad that the first week I decided to do videos again, that it's the strategies are that easy, that the, the prestige is this easy. I'm going to cut my commentary off uh, a bit early. I hope you guys do go and vote for the video. That would be amazing. Anybody's got any comments? If anybody wants to know anything about anything to do with the game, if you've got a, a question, you can either leave a comment at the end of the video. You can go on to the Facebook page. You can follow the Facebook page and ask questions and get involved in conversation on there. Uh... And I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoy making the videos. I've got a lot more fun out of making them in the last couple of weeks than I have. Uh, last week, sorry, than I have in the previous weeks. So I look forward to some more content. Thanks a lot for the support. And I will speak to you guys soon.